NVIDIA striking a $20 billion deal to license technology from the AI chip firm Grok, G-R-O-Q, and hire away some of its top executives. Mackenzie Segalos has more in today's Tech Check. Mac. Hey, Brian. So NVIDIA's dominance in AI chips is so big that the next moves are about locking in what comes after GPUs. Now, this Grok agreement, it brings over the founder, key leaders, and the company's IP. Three months ago, Grok raised at a $6.9 billion valuation. So this is close to a 3x premium and by far NVIDIA's largest deal yet. NVIDIA is calling it a licensing agreement, not an acquisition. The cloud business stays independent. But it's the same playbook that Microsoft, Google, and Amazon have used to scoop up AI talent without triggering regulatory reviews. Now, NVIDIA, it is sitting on $60 billion in cash, up from $13 billion two years ago, so they can afford to pay up. And in fact, they have been looking for places to park that cash. So the real question is, why use it for a company that just slashed its 2025 revenue projections by 75 percent? And the answer comes down to chip design. Grok's chips keep data closer to the compute on the processor itself rather than shuttling it to separate memory chips. NVIDIA's GPUs rely heavily on high bandwidth memory, a supply chain controlled by just a handful of firms. So this deal could ease that bottleneck while helping NVIDIA design cheaper, more power efficient server chips for running AI applications. But there's also another way to read this. Gil Loria from DA Davidson told me that this looks like an entirely defensive deal. NVIDIA wanted to make sure that technology that could challenge its lead didn't end up in the hands of Broadcom or AMD. NVIDIA controls roughly 90% of the AI chip market and faces antitrust scrutiny in the EU, UK, and China. So this lets them add capabilities while avoiding the M&A spotlight. And it eliminates one of the few credible competitors trying to chip away at its dominance in running inference workloads. Guys? Mac, that's exactly where I was going to go with you. Are there other competitors to Grok with a Q in this marketplace? Could we see more M&A or more exotic deal making, if you will, in light of this? Well, we know that Intel is looking to make an acquisition on that front as it beefs up its chip program. And what's so fascinating about this deal in particular is the fact that the Grok CEO and founder, Jonathan Ross, isn't just any founder. He helped build Google's TPU, which has become NVIDIA's most credible competition. Google stock that's up 65 percent this year, and the TPU is a big part of that story and why it's been landing these major deals with Anthropic and Meta. And now the guy who designed that architecture is going to NVIDIA. Do TPUs kill GPUs? TPUs are essentially Google's alternative to GPUs, yes. And so they are cheaper to run. Google has uh, been pretty quiet about what the price point is here. But we have seen a lot of people start to pivot to Google Cloud and because the TPU has such a good reputation out here in Silicon Valley, also on the street. All right. Mackenzie Segalos, thank you.